and Spectra. All of it, man. Contenders. They sell out of it. No matter what the price is, it sells out. That's that's what happens. I know I do here. These guys come in here with mad money buying out hobby boxes. I don't know if they split them. They go in on them together, do their own little breaks amongst each other, but they're buying them, so... I keep selling them. Let's find some monsters in this Bowman Chrome Sapphire Mini Mix with a Fernando Tatis. I was going to put two in and say win Fernando Tatis's balls, but I thought that might be inappropriate. So you get one of Tatis' balls. Good luck. Yeah, Cliff, I mean, I don't I don't think it really has as much to do with the players and, oh my God, these players and I got to have them. <clears throat> it's just the general, it's just the general number of people who have eyes on all this stuff. And, uh, you know, like for my shop, like you have to be honest with yourself. If I put a box of cards on that shelf out there and I put a price tag on it on new release day for $500, and I sell out of them at $500 in the first few days, what am I going to do? Say, man, that's a lot of money. I should sell them for $250. Like, I can't. You got to sell them for the same price in the marketplace, all the shops, and we all sell them at the same price, and they sell out. Guys come in here on their lunch break. Construction dudes working in the area, they come in, they look around, they grab a box, they drop two, 300 bucks. Some guys drop thousands, thousands of dollars on hobby boxes in here. I mean, it's, you know, what am I going to do? Say, man, I think these prices are crazy. I should probably sell them for like half that. You can't. And good conscience, I can't. That's not good business. And I'm the cheapest guy because I buy direct. I buy direct. So I'm able to sell it at what the actual retail price is in the market. A lot of shops are not buying direct anymore. They have to buy it on the secondary market and mark it up. So their boxes are 100 to $200 more than mine. One guy wanted $1,100. $1,100 for a box of mosaic in his shop. And he was like, best discount I could do is I could do it for $1,050. $1,050. There's a seven dollars $800 box at most. But I bet someone paid him 1000 bucks.
What's up, Ernie? I mean, I, I really do. I, I do feel bad sometimes. Like, what happens is people are finding my shop on, on Facebook and stuff, and they're coming in here with their kids. You know what I mean? They're like, hey, we're going to see what this is all about. And it's like they want to buy something. I don't carry retail. I just don't like retail products. I just don't like blaster boxes and all that. I did some of that stuff with Zion because my distributors were selling it. Uh, but everything here are hobby boxes, man. And the price to enter is minimum $125 now for a hobby box. Now to give you guys some time to possibly trade. Jeremy with the Yankees. Uh-oh, Rich, you got the Padres. Good luck in, well, the 2019 stuff. That would be dope for you. Um, Brandon with the Angels. B-Town! B-Town still loves it here. Thanks, dude. All right, no trades. Let's go. It's definitely time to be a seller right now, so. And you know what? I I don't see it slowing down. I think COVID-19 brought so many more. It was already buzzing good. It was already firing on all cylinders with breaks and sales and just excitement in the hobby. COVID-19. COVID-19 brought in how many more new people to the hobby 100,000 200,000 half a million people probably during COVID-19 everybody under the sun and their grandma was like hey I'm gonna go on Instagram and break retail products to pass the time I'm gonna go online and watch Chris open up sports cards and have some fun and escape the world and get in his breaks Listen to cool music. Maybe I can win full-size helmets and stuff. <laughs> so, take that times however many. So now all those people are hooked. Now they're all in. It's just going to keep getting wilder. You got the draft class of college guys coming out. Things will slowly start getting back to the norm. Who has the White Sox? Ryan. That's a good team to have, I would say. Don't you think? Yeah, but, but see, Cliff. I mean, whoever said that. What you have to realize... <laughs> I know this because I live this every day. What you have to realize, guys, is if the retailers, Blowout Card, Steel City, uh, Dave and Adams, other large retailers, major market hobby shops like mine and other cities, you are selling at the market price. We know that it's a $700 box, $800. So Panini can't go on their website and undercut everybody and sell it for $200. Why would they do that? They're going to sell it for what all the retailers are getting for it. They can't come out because then I would be pissed. Like, dude, Panini, really? I'm selling them for five or $600 all day long, and you're on your website selling them for 300 Come on, that ain't fair. That ain't right. So they sell at the market price to maximize their profits. If you all want the prices to come down, you got to stop paying it. Colin Barber, H-Town. No, no. Stop with that talk, too. OPJ, I love you. But, man, do you know what the junk wax era is? If this is the junk wax era, okay? If this is the junk wax era, 
I would like to buy all of your Immaculate National Treasures, all of your Select, all of your XR, all of your Donruss, all of your uh, everything. I'll buy everything if it's Junk Wax era. But you don't have any. Therefore, it is not the Junk Wax era. Nobody has it for sale. If they do, it's $800. If it was the Junk Wax era, they would be $50 a box. It's not the Junk Wax era. It's not. There's a lot of different products coming out that they're creating. A lot of different SKUs. But it's not Junk Wax. I understand, man. I hate it. I hate it, but I love it. I mean, I'm in the business. I'm a retailer. But, you know, there, you go to Vegas, there's an area where there's $100 a slot. Those places are always packed. The high limit tables, always packed. Like there's, it's a market. It's just, it sucks for a lot of people. I hear it every day. That's why I'm a little animated right now because we have this conversation daily if not multiple times with customers that come in here and see the prices of hobby boxes and you know what they do yeah but it's still two hundred dollars dude it's still 200 bucks for a box of certified shouldn't it be like 125 crazy here's what happens they come in the store doesn't matter the age. It might be a dude who's my age, older. It may be some kid who's 22. They look on the shelf. They see all the different hobby boxes. They say the same thing. Oh my God, these prices. How much is that? Well, that's a $650 Topps Chrome Sapphire box. $650? Are you serious? Yeah. We chit-chat a little bit. They say, all right, I'll take the Sapphire... I'll take a new Bowman Chrome and uh, whatever. They end up dropping a thousand bucks on three boxes every time. They can't resist. They can't leave without buying it because they're afraid that if they don't, the Fernando Tatis Superfractor is going to be in there. I don't sell packs. I don't think packs are fair. A, I have to start ripping open hobby boxes. And putting out packs. I can't sell packs. I don't like them. That's, I'm not the kind of shop for that. What happens is you open up a box of Donruss. That's pretty dope. This is not a pitcher. For the O's. Zach Watson. If I open up a box of Donruss football. And I put the packs out. In comes customer A. Customer A says, I'll take five packs of Don Russ. He buys his five packs, gets all three hits out of that box. Maybe two of the three. So now all the hits are out of that box. 20 minutes later, here comes dad with his 11-year-old son. They're all excited. They're on a budget and they want to buy packs. Now they're going to buy packs out of that Don Russ box when I damn well know all the hits are gone. It's not a feeling I like, so I, I don't sell packs. Jonathan Stever. I'm not going to sell packs to some kid and his dad knowing all the hits are gone. It's just not right. It's a, I feel It's a shitty feeling. Yeah, you can buy a pack. <laughs> Exactly. You can buy a pack of Immaculate in the box. I try to think of ways to do packs. The problem is they're all different price points. I thought about taking like $500, $1,000 even of hobby boxes, opening up all the packs and putting them in some sort of dispenser or some sort of a box, you know, a blind box, reach in, grab a pack, charge $10. But, you know, how do you price it then? Because some packs are 60 bucks, $75. So I just don't do packs. I'm like, if you're coming in here to buy packs, no offense, but you know how many packs I have to sell to like, I'm not going to sell the box.
Well, in theory, that could happen. In theory, that could crash the market with so many of them out there. But it doesn't seem to be happening. It only seems to be going up. Because buyers, the buyers are driving it. They don't care. They're going to buy it. They got to get it. If the buyers go away, then the sellers are going to be like, oh my God, nobody's buying my stuff. I better drop the price. Everyone's buying it, so they're going up. LeBron James. My LeBron James rookie two, three months ago was like 1100 bucks. Someone offered me, I think, 800 for it. Like, I'll give you 800 for it, man. It's like a $1,000 card right now. I said, nah, I just, I don't need to sell it. It's LeBron James. It's the dopest card I have. I'm going to keep it. It's a PSA 9 rookie. It's now $2,000. Oswald Pareza. Oh, what's up, guys? See? There's some customers that came in today and we hung out, chatted. Did you buy the Donruss box, right? Stop it, Martin. I don't sell packs. I think when... Whoa, what's this? Number to 50. Cody Bolton. Pirates. At, when Panini was here, we did pack wars. And box wars. So we opened up boxes live when Panini was here because they all sold out in a matter of 30 seconds. So that was different. Everyone had their packs real time. We sold packs then for pack wars with Panini. Oh, that's Justin and I know who you guys are. I had the father and son that came in. You're not the father and son. You're the two dudes. You're the two dudes that came in today when I was supposed to be closed. <laughs> Ended up. I said, honey, I've got to run to the shop. i got to clean up. I just left last night, late night. The place is a mess. I'm going to go take some product in. I got two hours later. There's Bryant Packard. Actually, those guys that are in chat right now, they came in looking for packs. Did I have packs today, Justin Flip? Didn't have any packs. Detroit. I think it is Michael Bolton's son. Carter, did you get any dope hits last night? Justin's going to bring in some Mickey Mantles and bring those in, Justin, this week, man. Let's switch it up. Let's check out these. Very minimal. I don't have a lot of singles. Me and Tommy will open up stuff for the shop now and again. Usually a box or two of every new release. But no, I'm not a big single store at all. Hobby boxes. Memorabilia. It's just a com cool place to come hang out and chat. Commons. Sometimes I'll buy a collection from somebody when they come in here. If it's dope. But no, I'm not a big singles place at all. Like, you know how you walk in some card shops and they have a whole, like, the whole display case is nothing but 5,000 single cards. I don't even, where do they get them all? I don't even know where you get that many cards. Yeah, well, he didn't even realize that, Dylan, last night. He fell asleep. Just want to flip this over and have it be Fernando. He's a 
San Diego, right? Richard, dude, I'm pulling for you, bud. Steve Connors, Mr. Memorabilia. Well, guess what I'm doing next week? We're going to do a Tom Brady quest again. Tom Brady quest returns. Just got to make sure I have enough gold packs. If not, I'm going to use black boxes. Do you guys remember the gold quest I would do? Someone's You can win a Tom Brady uh, autographed jersey. I don't know. Spot price may be $189, $199, somewhere around there. Wow, that looked like Fernando's. It's Talmito Augustin. There you go, Trexler. So when you guys buy packs in the hobby shop, don't you wonder and worry like maybe all the hits have already came out of them? Or I mean, I guess you trust your shop owner, which is great because I know people would trust me to do it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't mess with them, but still, they could have been taken by customers. And then you got to stand there and watch them open it. No, and they ain't getting shot. I mean, with tops chrome and stuff, it could be a little different because there still could be parallels in there. You know, golds and stuff. It's a little different. But once the autos come out of that. Oh, wow. Very nice. He tells you if they're gone. <laughs> See, I don't want to have to do that. There's no way. So he tells you, does he tell the other people? He only tells you. So he lets the other customers come in and buy them? That doesn't seem too, uh, that doesn't seem too wholesome. Del Rosario. Kansas City Royals. What's up, Oz? Wow, I thought that was a super for some reason, but it's not. It's a super decoy. It's Brian Rocio. Yeah, it is. All, I mean, Tops has gone to a lot of pitchers. I mean, it is just riddled with pitchers. I mean, this stuff can pop out a complete $5,000 monster at any time, but... It is probably going to be a thousand dollars. Don't buy it. The problem is nobody can not not buy it. <laughs> they can't. Everyone's addicted. I mean, it's like they can't not not buy it. Number to 99, that looks kind of dope, whoever this dude is. I know he had 62 extra base hits. Number to 99 for the Miami Marlins, owned by Martin Clark, taking all the hits tonight. Martin. 
No, I'd rather have catchers. Because catchers can hit. I'd rather have Wilson Contreras. And the like. Curtis Terry. Texas Rangers. Greg Davis is back. Back in the saddle again. We're going to have an early night tonight, my dudes. We had a huge week. Save your PayPals. Enjoy the rest of your night when we go off the air. And come back Tuesday for, you know what? Micro breaks. Hector Jan is an angel owned by B Town. Yeah, but you got good ones, Martin. I think you got Joe Burrow's gloves. You got Joe Burrow's gloves. I have to sell what the market price is, man. There's, I can't, I can't look what Blowout, Steel City, Dave and Adams are selling boxes at eight hundred dollars. What am I gonna do? Sell mine for three hundred and fifty? That makes no sense. So yes, I follow that. I follow the market price. The market price is, in my opinion, Blowout, Steel City, Dave and Adams, and especially eBay. eBay is usually about ten to fifteen percent higher than Dave and Adams. For because of the fees and stuff. What's up, Leech? You not hit the schedule. Cliff is angry, hunting a monster. There's some sort of anomaly on top. I can't see what it is. I mean, who it is, but I can see what it is. It's D.L. Hall, number to 199. What do we do with that? Is he affiliated with the team on the checklist, Ernie? Ernie or Carter, anybody? Is this guy affiliated with the team? Or do I random this? We usually random them if he is not on a team. Or the checklist. 199. Right, but what do we do with it? I think we random them. Unless we look at the checklist and it has them on a team. The checklist. The swaggers are beautiful, aren't they? I mean, I'll look it up as well. So he's an Oriole. Randy Florentino. Rangers again. Man. Greg Davis draws the Rangers. He's looking for an Acuna or a Laura. The O's, huh? He is the Baltimore Orioles, honey. Hon. Gone down the ocean. Get some crabs. Francisco Alvarez is a New York baseball Met. We got Mosaic coming up and then some contenders. This guy's pretty good, I think. St. Louis. Jan Torres. $4.99. Cardinals are owned by... Cardinals at the bottom again! That was last night they ended up at the bottom. Nicholas Will. So remember, I kept looking for him. Remember that? 
Nick Dub with the cards. All right, let's see what's in this expensive ass box. Oh, you bought Kyler? Nice. See that? Cliff's monster in here. This stuff is... These are three... Three good Tops products. We need to get something out of these mugs. Or I'm going to look bad. That's why I always have a backup item. I can say, hey, at least we got a Fernando Tatis ball. San Diego getting closer. Yelly. What's up, Foster? How are you? Cubbies. And Nick. <sighs> Oh, we have an orange. The orange is an auto of oh Bryce Wilson. God, I feel for you guys. What those autos could possibly be would be ridiculously expensive if they were one of the top guys. This guy's a pitcher for the Braves. The Bra That's a beautiful card, though. Holy crap. Braves are owned by... Clifford, nice hit. It's a gold card, or to 525. But what could have been? Maybe 25. Number to 10. Good God. Number to 10. Dominic Leone. Two packs left, my dudes, and then we'll random off one of Fernando Tatis's balls. Uh, Verlander.
Mookie, Vargas, Brad Peacock, and Brian Anderson. Why the hell is this stuff $700? Come on. I mean, I, I bought it. See, what happens is I see the pricing of this stuff, secondary market. Do you think I really like spending, you know, $5,000 for a case of this new stuff that comes out? But it sells out, so I got to keep doing it. Here's Fernando's. This is... JSA and whatever that is. They look so good on paper, don't they? You're like, wow, there's going to be some juicy stuff in freaking that. Clifford, you won Fernando Tatis balls. Well, one of them. So there, sell that. Get your price back. And your gold card. Clifford, did you think there was Pittsburgh Steelers in there? Oh, one card. What's your last name, OPJ? So I can make an... Are you coming to get your cards or... What was your last name, OPJ?
No, it does. It's, it's not that it works better for me. It's like three bucks to ship. I'm just saying I thought I, I have local guys that do come in here. So I was going to put you on the local list just so Tommy knows. Yes, of course, Dylan. So we're going to do this mosaic, and then that's it. Trexler wins. You know who I am? You know who I am? Let's imagine some more about Lady Aberlin's wind research. This is Mosaic. I got to get the list. I'm sure Tyson put it together. Maybe he didn't. All right, so I can just grab the list. Carter, is, so Mosaic is sold out. So what does it look like when I grab all the names? It's sold out, right, Carter? So this is sold out. Mosaic. We got to put sold out so people don't try to buy it. List is good. No locals. No DGs. No... Nothing I missed. Well, 
What's up, big hitter? <laughs> Master Joda. Were you here for that night? You were here for that night, Dylan. Dylan, that might have been your first night ever here. All right, so there is no randoming to do. I will show you guys this list. Whoops. Whoops. 